Mr. Kaufman, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I certainly welcome uh, the Commander of the American Legion uh, here today. Unlike Mr. Waltz, my dues are paid up. <laughs> the, what, I, I want to go over these uh, relocation expenses uh, just, just for a minute here. They totaled uh, $274,019.12. For uh, a deputy undersecretary for field operations uh, to move from Washington D.C. to the Philadelphia area, um, and here is my my issue with that. When I look at the relocation expenses that we pay our military, that the Department of Veterans is, is, of Affairs is is there to support to ser serve, that the highest. Um, one can receive, I think, is around uh, $4,000. Uh, is uh, if, if we look at the pay scale for an O10, which is a four-star flag officer, uh, that individual would receive a dislocation allowance of um, $4,514.29, and that's with dependents. Uh, an O10 with dependents. That's four star. I uh, retired from the uh, major as a. Uh, I retired from the Marine Corps as a major, and so uh, uh, that would be the commandant of the Marine Corps uh, would receive that four thousand five hundred fourteen five hundred fourteen uh, dollars and twenty nine cents. Uh, they would receive um, mileage, uh, uh, and they would um, uh, obviously have. Uh, uh, their household goods moved at 14,000 pounds that the government would pay for that expense. Um, I mean, that's incredible. How did this uh, get so out of control, uh, Ms. Halliday? It's a pretty broad question. Yeah. Um, without being able to lay the services that are supported through a military move against the private sector and against the VA, I can't really answer that. Okay. I would think that the the contracts are set up. We saw that the percentages paid were the percentages per the contracts. Uh, it's possible. Right. I think you should pursue GSA. Sure. Is there another op option available that still wouldn't inhibit right. senior executives moving from one position to another? See, for, for our military personnel, there is no compensation in terms of if you lose money on the sale of your home, there is no compensation for that. Yet for VA executives, when the move is directed, there is compensation for, for that. And, and what we can see is that in compensation, this level of compensation is so high that it, that it incentivizes this culture of corruption where we have an example of a senior executive uh, who, who, who is incented to move and forces somebody else out of their position just to move to get the compensation. And I just think that that is extraordinary. And I, and I you know, what, what is so upsetting about this, I think, is the fact that you don't have leadership at the top of the Veterans Administration that seems to be concerned about reforming this process that it's always the whistleblower that comes up with this, or you as uh, the Inspector General's office from the Inspector General's office that comes up with these issues, and that the VA is so uh, slow to respond. And we had testimony today of uh, individuals that, that uh, were involved in the appointment wait time scandal that are still with the, that were at the top of the scandal that were complicit in the scandal by, by all observations, that are, in, are still on paid administrative leave, and this issue happened last year. Um, can, can you, I, I know that right now you're focused on, on this issue, but what is the VA's policy on SES per, personnel that seem to be placed indefinitely on paid administrative leave? Uh, I can't answer that. I'm sorry. I just think that's that's extraordinary. Well, I, I think I, I commend you on your work. I, I certainly hope. Uh, we, I think that clearly the fact that this, that this was manipulated by virtue of uh, forcing people out of their positions, not uh, uh, advertising the positions as open as they should have on a competitive basis, and then and then moving simply to get this extraordinary compensation that's so excessive. Um, there, clearly, I think there's criminal wrongdoing in this, and I hope it's pursued by the Justice Department. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. 